one question for you, but I know we've been taking a long time, not longer than Zebra's usual videos. Um, so I have seen um, rental rates go down. Now, I don't usually see that. And I'm seeing that in my market um, in Memphis. Um, I'm seeing that in Montgomery, Alabama. I have a lot of students that invest there. Houses are staying on the market longer for rentals, right? They're not getting rented as fast. And rental rates are going down in other cities, too. Do you think that has any is any indicator or has anything to do with um, an impending recession? I do, um, with the caveat that that real estate, you know, really is very, very local. Um, it, it's there's really not a regional real estate market, right? Real estate has so many different asset classes, and then each market is kind of its own different animal. But generally speaking, the more a market went up in both value and rent quickly, the faster those markets are going to come down in both value and rent yeah. quickly. And part of the reason for that is oftentimes um, those are areas that people are moving in. So even though I live in Pennsylvania, I invest heavily in Texas. And so, you know, we've got properties where so many people were moving to Texas and Tennessee as well, um, Atlanta, Georgia, North Carolina, you know, certain areas where there were so many people that moved there because of the pandemic and being able to work from anywhere that there was a lot of building. And so those markets are undersupplied, but in certain of those cities and certain set classes, like let's say an average class C, you know, workforce housing, um, that now you've got all this new construction in the class A and class B nicer apartment stuff. So there's so much supply in the nicer stuff and people that are afraid of a recession might move down into a class wow. B apartment or move down to a class C. So now you've got all this new inventory in the, in the higher end rentals. Those are the ones that are really taking a hit first um, because people are just saying, I can't afford that like I thought I could, or I can't really work from home like I thought I could. And so um, in certain markets, it's it's the higher end, nicer properties that rents are coming down because they're having to compete with each other to be filled because there's so much new inventory. Yeah. Other markets, like where I am in central Pennsylvania, we are so undersupplied, Casey. We do not have enough housing. I stay, and I kid you not, my for 15 years, we've had a 2% vacancy rate. And we're, we've been 100% occupied almost always since COVID. Wow. And so, you know, because because we basically don't have enough supply, our rents are not coming down. What we are experiencing, though, is people starting to go month to month just to see if they can find something else. And then they end up coming back and signing with us. Or we, or we might have a property sit on the market a little bit longer to rent because people are second guessing that rent. And so 